All right, guys, here's something you don't hear every day. We got a BBL patient caught transporting four, $400,000 worth of illegal substance. We don't know what the substance is. It could be medical, like, field related to, like, you know, BBL. Or it could just be, like, illegal substance as in, like, you know, recreational drugs. But, uh, let's check it out, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. On March 31st, 2023, Tampa troopers from the Criminal Interdiction Unit, CIU, would notice a 2017 Toyota Sienna driving closely to a semi-truck on I-75. Trooper Kelly would become suspicious of this vehicle, as this is a common technique for drug traffickers to avoid law enforcement encounters. Dang, bro. They already knew it's a law. It's a tactic. Avoid, like, how does that even avoid what? Well, I guess because they're in the, um, I guess because she's in, like, that lo that slow lane. But it, 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 it ended up getting her caught. That's, that's the thing, though, guys. Like, the, the thing that's supposed to save her ended up getting her caught. And that is kind of silly. Like, so now you gotta do the opposite thing to not get caught, it seems. Because this probably wouldn't have happened if she didn't do this, make this mistake. We got, uh, what, what state is that? Florida? Florida license tags. Probably Florida. One second. Alright, guys. Post in the comments what you think. Do you think the, the substance she is trafficking? I personally think it's, uh, I don't know, cannabis. <laughs> Probably is some medical stuff related to BBO. <laughs> But that might not be the truth. And that probably won't be the case. That's my guess, though. Alright. We got Officer pulling up. Starting with the investigation, aka the, uh... Semi-aggressive, um, you know, <laughs> questioning, guys. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, that's what it is. That's what it is. During the traffic stop, both female participants would become extremely nervous, not knowing what city and state they were in. They would mention to Trooper Kelly that they were coming from a BBL surgery in Atlanta, but they were in Tampa. The trooper is- Dang, bro. They don't even know where they are. They're so scared, bro. Oh, man. I'm sure there's some officers that knew they had, like, substance on them, but they didn't arrest them because they just felt bad, bro immediately separated the participants of the Rampaging. vehicle to try to get to the bottom of the story. Hey, uh, so, so, your ringer's fine. So you were, so you, you guys flew into Tampa? No. You, well, now we know why, guys. Now we know why not. the BBL is in the title. It's because she used it as her alibi. You flew to Atlanta. Yeah. And you got a rental. Oh, just for her appointment. Yes. Oh, and you're flying out of Tampa. Yes. Okay. There's a certain feeling, guys. A certain phenomenon, guys. Like, you, you know you're screwed. You know you're going to be arrested. But now you just kind of like have to watch yourself get arrested no matter what you're going to do. You know you're going to be arrested. So it's like. It's just like very depressing because, you know, you know, you're going to come out of the interaction as a loo as the one who took the L as the one who's in the like backseat of the car. That's what it felt like for me. That's why I, I, I maintained a very, very um deep like fear. Of being arrested when I was homeless, guys. Very, very deep fear of being arrested. <clears throat> Let's keep watching. Let's keep watching, guys. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't care. But did she get it done in Florida? Yes. When did. How long ago was that? I don't think he believes it, guys. 
Oh, okay. As an officer, you kind of have to not believe anybody. That's what it, that's what it feels like for me watching these films. So y'all were just here. somebody in California for that? After about three minutes of questioning, the driver would eventually come clean to Trooper Kelly, letting him know that they were trafficking drugs. She stated to Trooper Kelly that she wanted to get off with a warning, but Trooper Kelly would then go in for a search. So, uh, guys, when you ask for a warning, it usually doesn't happen. That's what I kind of noticed. But it's also a very circumstantial. So. Uh -huh. Starting with the soft drugs, as, asking about cannabis. He's there solo, man. It looks like he needs some backup. He's dealing with two women. I, I'm sure backup will arrive soon, guys. Because he's, he's already, he's already uh, outnumbered, guys. I didn't. I didn't know they um fast forward it. Did it, guys? I thought he ran in there for a second and found something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, they're probably gonna tear apart the car if it's well hidden. No drug dog, guys. Like doing the old-fashioned way. I guess they consented to the search. I don't know. They must have consented, right, guys? got some cool elevator music while this goes on very nonchalant kind of you know <laughs> just searching this vehicle searching everything everything uh every every single thing in this vehicle for you know stuff here we got the trunk open Oh, there it is, guys. 500 pounds, well. Cannabis, most likely, then. They called her the BBL suspect? Nah, man, you guys are too much. What? The BBL? <laughs> they gave her a pillow. Or she's... Is she sleeping on top of that traffic cone? Ma'am, you gotta get all the way in there so we can shut the door. <sighs> Feel bad for her though, man. Maybe she it looks like she might she might have got her BBL though. But dang man, she's probably gonna go away for a while now, man. Guys, if you don't know, uh, I don't. Uh, never mind. I, I won't get into it on this video. Ooh, um, yeah. Here, real quick. So this green one is yours, right? It had the case on it with the cards in the back. This one. That is yours. Yes. And this is what? Your daughter. Your daughter's not with you, though. Oh, they did give her a pillow. Guys, they... I forgot what I was gonna say. They, they got like three officers there, man. That means it's business. Do you use this phone to communicate with her? Like, for the trip and everything? Like, when you guys were gonna go to the airport or whatever, before your trip, did you call her and like... To... Did you talk to your family on it? How do you talk to her? 
Yeah, guys. They're very good with their intuition. Police officers, it's their freaking job, bro. They're gonna know when something's up quite quickly, bro. They're good at intuition. If you're in your house and she's in her house, how do you talk to her? Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. Shout out this guy, she, shout out this guy, shout out this girl, she's cooperative, he's, you know, trying to help her out with, like, you know, numbers and stuff. No numbers in my Do you need to give any numbers out? Yeah. Okay, what is the password? Um, 05, 07, 07. 05, 07, 07. Are. Definitely see the booty going on from the butt lift. How much does that procedure even cost? Boys? I'm not happy, guys. I wouldn't be either, man. Hopefully, she doesn't get that that big of a sentence. And yeah, we don't even know what the, the substance is, guys. They actually like blurred it out, which you know, just so they can monetize the video, I believe. Is that they can monetize the video. I don't know why they're showing this though, guys. It's literally like just some random like scanning of her ID or something. I don't know what what that sound is, guys. Is that sound in their car? So right now you're not under arrest or anything like that, okay? Hey, bro, you got in the car with him? With her? I've never seen that happen, guys. Never. If somebody shuts the door, he's stuck in there, man. But you're detained in a police car, so you need to know your rights, all right? You have the right to remain silent. He's saying you're not under arrest, but he's going on with the uh, Miranda rights, which are basically... Basically, like, uh, I mean, I don't know, I want to say it legally. In my opinion, I think it's like, you know... Confirming that you're going to be arrested, potentially. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak with a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. She's like, yo, I am screwed, aren't I? Have him or her with you during questioning. If you cannot afford a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. Uh, it just kind of irks me because when they say you're not under arrest, but she obviously is going to be arrested here. Like, I guess she's, I guess they say that to, like, you know, not have them, like, freak out. Because you know how we see a lot of videos, like, when they freak out, when they, they, they start going in for the cuffs and stuff. And if you decide to answer questions without a lawyer present, you can stop at any time. You understand that? So did you actually fly into Atlanta from California? Did, I noticed the one suitcase, it looks like it's DAL. Is that Dallas or is that actually California? That's a it, connector. It was a connector? Okay. So where did you fly from in California? Like Long Beach to Dallas to Atlanta. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, wouldn't she need, like, time to recover from the BBL? Like, uh... You know what I mean? I I'm not sure how it works. Because I never looked into it. Sorry, guys. There's so much debris and stuff on my laptop, man. I really want to take care of it. I, I gotta get, like, a case for it, man. On the computer that I can stream on. Probably out of Los Angeles or something, but not Long Beach. Um... She, she was telling me she actually has a follow-up appointment. Yeah. Um, the... What are you looking for? I've already taken pictures. Yeah. Here. One, one, two, one, eight, seven, okay. Okay. 
Did you actually, does she have a cousin in Atlanta? It's her family, or I'm sorry, nephew is what you told me earlier. Um, did you guys fly in with the boxes or did somebody give you the boxes? <laughs> I don't think she could fly in with that much. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not interested in trafficking, so. So whatever she told you. What's that? It's not mine, but I don't. Okay. Did you load the van? Huh? Did you load the van? Oh, I did. Who loaded the van? Somebody else. Who was that? What'd you say? I want to Yes, ma'am. Oh, that's it. She wants a lawyer, guys. No more talking. It said that at the start. Tractor trailer driver. For 20 years, I heard that criminals tailgate trucks to avoid. I never heard that criminals tailgate trucks to avoid the cops. I mean, the best case scenario would be the the like uh there would be the truck behind you. So the, the cop can't really get behind you. You know what I mean? If there's somebody behind you, how are they going to run your plates? I mean, they could do it from the front. They could do it from the front. You can't forget that. They have ways. They have ways to get out. To get everybody back, bro. But thank you for watching. A lot of views on this one. See you guys next one. Okay, guys. Oh, and let's see the... They're oh, apprehended. Guys, we have no update on the case. And that kind of sucks. See you guys next one, okay?